Hey everybody, Logan here, and the time has finally... Wait, didn't we already do this? It's deja vu. <laughs> time has finally arrived again? Well, I didn't think I'd be doing another one of these this year, considering how well the first video did of my game room tour, but I've done a number of updates, and I actually put up a, a poll on uh, YouTube, and overwhelmingly got a yes on doing a uh, update upgrade update great <laughs> tour of the game room so without any further ado let me stop talking let me show you what i've done welcome to rip and data gaming the channel where logan will show you everything from gameplay to gear their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere Hey, look, it's the door again, but this time with a little breath of the wild. Okay, <laughs> so just like before, we're going to start. Now, as you can see, I've kind of changed what I had above the door. It used to be all Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but now I have Legend of Zelda. I have a little spot open because I'm waiting for something to come in. It's going to be right there. Uh, so I moved a lot of my Zelda stuff uh, to right around the door. So let's see if I can step back so you can see the whole thing. So, and then to the left, I got my Devil May Cry. I actually moved that and you'll see why. So coming back over here, this hasn't changed much. Well, actually, I think this is now all Sega before. I think it was DS, but I put all my Sega stuff here. I don't have too much Sega. Top row is uh, Japanese Saturn. US Saturn. Dreamcast. Game Gear. European uh, Dreamcast controller. I've got two Master System games, Genesis, Genesis, uh, Game Gear, Sega Saturn, the 3D controller, some, um, I guess, Repro or whatever you want to call them, uh, Dreamcast disc that I got when I was in high school, and uh, one Sega CD game, and it's Power Rangers, uh, just because it's Power Rangers. I don't have any... Uh, I don't have a Sega CD. I'm actually going to get the, the Poly Mega so I can play that. Now, going back, uh, closet like before. Still have all the same amiibos on the side. But now, I've expanded my Pokemon display. I have something that I can't find a right size frame. So I have something that I'm going to hang right there that's also Pokemon. But I can't seem to find the f uh, correct frame for it yet. So, heading on over. This has changed quite a bit. We're going to step back, and I'm going to give you, whoop, if I can step back any further, that's all my Nintendo stuff now. So it went from two different shelves to now two of the same shelves and the one in the center. But if you look over here, I stacked up some boxes, put some Mario uh, stuff on the walls that was in another place. So we've got NES, Super NES, Super Famicom, got some squishy things, got... Um, Switch Lite, some Switch controllers from 8-Bit Do, uh, Game Boy games, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, then GameCube, more GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch, collector's boxes just because I have way too many. We've got regular DS, Virtual Boy, 3DS, more Switch collectors, some DS's just because I haven't decided how I'm going to display those yet. Those aren't going to stay there. Some more 2DS's. That's Flight Stick in the corner. And then over here, my Switch Lite's charging. So is my Galaxy Watch. <laughs> but that's my little charge station, you could say. So I turned this into almost like a Game Boy Shrine, you could say. So I did that. Now those are where I keep my Switch games because it's easier than going through all these. But yes... The Switch games have grown. The Switch games have grown. <laughs> and then we have Nintendo 64, all US here, US, US, and we have a couple of mods. Uh, this one is Animal Crossing, Dragon Ball Kart, GoldenEye with Sonic characters, Legend of Zelda, Master Quest, Missing Link, uh, Super Mario Bros. 64, and these are all Japanese and 64 games. 
and then limited run switch. Then if you look up, switchy, 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 Mario. <laughs> so yeah, I still have the, the curtains. Now back behind the couch, I put a little shelf that's got boxed Nintendo stuff. Yep, there's my NES. Oh, wait, I did get it in. That was gonna, okay. So my box NES with a Nintendo 64. Now, if you look at the shelf, the shelf has all boxed Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, um, basically Famicom, Super Famicom. No, there's no, uh, sorry, there's no Famicom on here. This is just boxed Super Famicom, boxed uh, Japanese N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games over there. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, moving on. Now, this is my Xbox shelf. Um, yeah, starting at the bottom, Xbox 360 Collector's Editions, Xbox One Controllers, Controllers, Xbox 360, original Xbox. Now, those are the controller holders. I got Captain America and uh, Master Chief. Then I have the Gears controllers and then Sea of Thieves with little Mass Effect characters. Now, those are my Series X games, and we pull back. Those are all Xbox One. Then you go up. Xbox, 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 Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, I, I, I like Xbox. You're going to notice a theme in this room. My favorites are Nintendo, of course, and then Xbox stuff. So, here... I changed this up to uh, the PlayStation cell shelf. So all the, the boxes, then PS1. We've got the little consoles. Those are extra boxes back there. PS2, PS3, PSP, PS Vita, and PS4 collector's editions. Now, not too much, but this, this is where it's one of the things that was really changed. I had my Halo stuff in the corner framed my halo reach poster yeah so i love my halo shelf this has not changed since i've moved in i've added a couple things there's a shield and a trash can in the corner <laughs> so stepping on back this is where things have really changed up say what <laughs> so i move the shelf that was not here but over there, because I had that there, I replaced it with one of these shelves. And then I moved it to here. But I had originally bought these to take that place, but I didn't want to get rid of the shelf, so I kind of made it like a, like a Tetris piece. <laughs> so now on here, I have an extra TV. This is the, the TV that I use to test consoles when I buy new ones or whatnot, just to see how they work or whatnot, instead of, uh, disconnecting everything from my main TV and this is where I have my sad little PS4 collection I don't have too many PS4 and that's my PS5 that's it so you guys know I'm not a big uh, PlayStation 4 guy so I do have a number of games but not too many uh, my wife has the the large amount and yes that is the sort of grace cult the original one the real He-Man got my Elder Scrolls corner as you can see I put that above the door Still have the map of Cyrodiil on the bathroom, but got my Elder Scrolls in right there. Now I moved all my statues to this shelf um, to all make like a one kind of cohesive setting. Those are my ladies of gaming. Got Sonic, got uh, Alduin, uh, Sora, Streets of Rage, Snake, Link stuff, Master Chief helmet, and a Mega Man X blaster. Got a little random He-Man shelf with, yes, I bought those Masters of the Universe Revelation figures before I saw the show. The show's terrible, don't watch it. Pokeballs, Elder Scrolls stuff. Now I have some more Elder Scrolls stuff in the garage, but I have to go dig it out. Um, yeah, that's Elder Scrolls cookbook, Alduin, and from that's my statue from the Greymore Collector's Edition, Vampire Lord. So now. We head back to this side of the room, which has really gone through a big change. This is where all my uh, consoles are. So I moved all the consoles around, got um, 
the box for the Series X, got the Dreamcast, got the Saturn, PS3 Super Slim, PS1, PS2, PS3 uh, George Foreman Grill, Series, uh, sorry, 1X, original Xbox, 360, Series S, uh, Switch, Retron 5, GameCube, Wii U, uh, Retron AV, NES, Super NES, Nintendo 64, Virtual Boy. And then the, the mini consoles there, controllers, whatnot. That is the back. I do have a little space up here, saving that for something that I find I haven't decided yet. Hung the Xenoblade up there. Sword from Xenoblade, sorry. Um, and then I have Star Fox, Zelda, Zelda. And there you go. And then, of course, the Mario rug. It's me, Mario. And you're like, what are these little feet? What are these little feet? Yeah, it's Mario again in front of a Mario box. Now, there is my couch, and I bet you saying, what's in the Mario box? That's where I actually keep stuff that I have in queue to do videos for, like controllers or other things that I'm going to make videos for, and that's my couch. Sonic, Knuckles, got the, the blue shell, Master Chief, there you go, and then Super Sonic. Well, there you go. That's a game room update. So I've done a lot. I've done a lot of work. A ton of work just revamping and just you know redoing the game room and it's still not in its final form yeah and you see the two lamps those are for lighting when I'm making videos so there you go alrighty so uh, there we go guys that is uh, the 2021 game room tour 2.0 we'll call it 2.0 update upgrade I don't know you guys asked for it um, had a number of people ask me Oh, what have you done? Have you updated? Have you upgraded? And then I had a ton, a ton of views on my first one this year. So I figured I'd do um, the update tour because I had enough people ask and, you know, ask questions and um, people when I've showed pictures on my Instagram or uh, when I've done videos in here. What else have you done? What else have you done? Have you changed? Wow, that looks different. So I decided, all right, let me ask because there's been enough questions. So I decided, all right, I'm going to ask you guys. And, well, the poll was overwhelming. <laughs> and I actually had, that was my most responded to poll. And that was my most commented on poll. So, yeah. Um, but, hey, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Head on over to RedBandanaGaming.com. Check out our spring shop in the description below you'll catch the link where you can get some awesome shirts and um some phone cases some pillows some blankets oh my all that other great stuff make sure you follow us on our socials at red bandana gaming on facebook at red bandana gaming on instagram instagram is the one where i'm most active i post a lot of my pickups uh stuff that doesn't make it into videos uh random gaming things so just follow us on there. That's where I'm most active. We have a large community on Facebook, but I'm much more active on Instagram. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at RBG underscore retro. Twitter, uh, I, I post video updates on there quite a bit. Maybe a few things in response to a couple of other YouTubers. But uh, if you really want to see the most active, follow us on Instagram at Red Bandana Gaming. Thank you guys so much again. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, now is the time to do it really appreciate it we're growing we're shooting through the moon through the moon through the moon there you go <laughs> make sure you go back and watch a number of our old videos i greatly appreciate that and make sure you check us out when we stream we stream weekly two to three times a week just make sure you turn your notifications on and hang out with us when we do that thank you guys so much again like we always say be legendary thanks again